things and they brag about having different assortment of just like how men brag about like just to, to be very clear um a lot of his feel about the culture the music um again if if you could I, I keep saying if you could find a nice docile woman who you know may hold the traditional values that maybe your grandmother or maybe your mother aspired to to have back in the 50s or whatever whenever they were young trust me put a a, 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 a ring on that person's finger however what we're left with are the sexy reds, the ones who would brag about the stench of their vagina, who would brag about them fucking dudes and discharge and STD passing around and, you know, how they're the throat goat. Like, we live in a very different era, man. Um, however, we get to the Cardi B situation. So Cardi B is going through a divorce with Offset, very complicated, because she announced the divorce while she announced her pregnancy. Now, she's had this third baby with Offset, and we saw them together even in the delivery room, right? You know, um, Cardi B, Offset, third baby, you know? You know, beautiful pictures, by the way, you've seen, you've seen Offset, you know, um, holding his, his, his newborn. This is a great family picture. Mom, um, big sister, uh, I think this is a, I think this is a, a little boy, a second little boy. And then you have Wave, which is the, so this is baby culture, the girl. And Offset has Wave, which is the other boy. And I think it's, I think it's a, another boy. Anyway, you know, m some more pictures, Offset holding his new baby. It was a little bit confusing to fans because Cardi B announced divorce. Like the same day she essentially announced um, she was pregnant. I'll see if I could pull that up for you guys. Where is it at? Where is it at? Da, 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 da. She announced a divorce. Let me see it. Yeah. So she, she announced she was pregnant and she announced the divorce. No one has the picture. Perfect. Okay. She wrote a long thing basically saying that, you know, um, filing uh, for divorce. By the way, it's not her first time filing for divorce, but she claimed it wasn't an easy decision. Regardless, she announced that she was being um, she was going to divorce Offset and she was pregnant by him as well right don't know if i can find i don't know if i can find like the caption for that can i find it really quickly if not i'll move on yeah this was a picture she posted okay i'm pretty sure this is a youtube video we'll, we'll kind of just go towards the caption where's the caption okay where uh do they not have the caption okay anyway there was a long caption with it Okay, so regardless, oh, here was the caption, sorry. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but she says, with every ending comes a new beginning. Um, I'm so grateful to have shared this uh, season with you. You have brought me more. Damn, I can't read this. I got to zoom in. Sorry. What the hell? Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Wow, it's still burning. <laughs> All right, let's share the season with you. You have brought me more love, more life, and most of all, renewed my power. Uh, reminded me that I can have it all. You've reminded me that I can never have to choose between life, love, and my passion. I love you so much. I cannot wait to witness what you have helped me accomplish, what you push me to do. It's so much easier taking the twists and turns and tests laying down, but you... Your brother and your sister have shown me why it's worth it to push through. Okay, this she she made this post on the day she she announced that she well she didn't really announce it came out in the media that she filed for a divorce again. Regardless, regardless, fast forward to today, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Um, she went on Instagram live, and I thought she was gonna talk about music. Instead, I joined the live, and this is what happened, chat. Go listen to this shit. Where them fine niggas? I'm trying to find niggas. I've been cuffed up too long. Let me remind niggas. Yo, when I tell you, Nick, the narcissism is all time high. And you know what's so crazy? I really be feeling like when people be saying like narcissists, narcissists, niggas is narcissists and everything. I be like, do y'all even know what that word mean? But now I really do see what's a fucking narcissist. You know what's so crazy? I find it so crazy, right? You know what I find so crazy? That a nigga think that they could just buy a bitch. You know what I'm saying? 
I love me shit, but you can buy you can buy me no more, motherfucker. And I, and it's so crazy that a nigga think that that's enough. It's not enough, honey. It's just not enough. And you know what's so funny too? I find it funny that niggas think that they can fuck on anything. But when I when I start talking to niggas, you wanna threat me with taking shit that I fucking work my ass off for. You want to play those games with me? We're going to play them games too. We're going to play them games too. Since you want to fucking threat me, take, talking about you want to take my shit? You want to take my shit because I'm moving on? Move on. Move on. Why can't you move on? Why can't you move on? It's no fun when, when, when mama got the gun, right? It's no fun when I'm slanging pussy, right? Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, chat. I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Again, maybe, chat, y'all tell me, is this misogynistic? Like, like I'm, I'm asking a real question, and I'm asking really out of clarity. Is it misogynistic for, like, a guy to just expect a woman not to be doing shit like this? Like, like. I don't know, just hearing a woman say that, why it ain't fun when I'm slanging pussy, it's like, like I, I I just don't know what it is, it just don't, it just, it's like nails on a chalkboard, is that, just tell me, is that misogynistic as a, because, you know, we're, we're living in the land of equality, right, these days you could choose to be man or woman, and supposedly both genders are equal, so like, you know, you, you know, if guys could fuck 50,000 people, 50,000 women, like, you know, women should be able to fuck 50,000 men and no judgment, but, like, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Anyway, she, she, she she's, she's at it with talking about slanging that pussy. That sounds crazy. Hmm. Now we What a fine niggas. Okay. All right. So, anyway, her live got cut off. What then happened was that Offset was comment was in the comment section. Now Offset made a revelation that uh, I don't even think I was ready for. So it looked like his tea spilling time. So this is a screenshot from the live you just watched, but Offset's in the comment section and he said, "You fucked with the baby inside. Tell the truth." Well, goddamn it. <laughs> Put us in the group chat already, huh? So Offset is accusing her and I would imagine it would be the last pregnancy that she just delivered her third baby. Offset is accusing her of having sex, I would imagine, with another man while she was pregnant with his baby. Again, I, 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 I kind of like, I think because I'm like so traditional valued where, and I know, yeah, traditional value doesn't mean men do whatever and women just, I don't know. Number one, I, I do think, by the way, both of them exposing each other like this is crazy, right? But um, at the end of the day, I, I still don't believe that these two will ever be separated. The reality of it is this, okay? And I think this is one of those relationships that they'll embarrass each the fuck out of each other. By the way, it's not the first time that Offset has accused her of having sex with other men, right? Or cheating on him, right? But they still stay together. I still think they're going to stay together. And this is one of those things they bring us into their drama, and they have a who could embarrass who more contest, but then they're still going to stay together. So I still think they're going to stay together. But I, I got to imagine, yo, if I grew up and I saw my mom and dad fighting on Instagram Live and there was allegations that some other nigga was smashing my moms while I was in the belly doing backflips and somersaults while some other nigga was punching dick inside of her, I would know who to fight, dad or mom. Like, what was going on? What the fuck was happening here? But maybe that's just me. So he makes that revelation. Also, I posted it. And <laughs> shortly, you know, Offset, you know, uh, 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 he liked the post. You know, he liked the post. He basically was standing by it. Basically, he's standing on, you know, business, right? And I guess Cardi B saw that and was just like, I know this nigga ain't trying to play with me. Now, Cardi B, she's historically, you know, undefeated in the Crash Out Olympics. And I've always said, beware of anyone. It doesn't have to be man or woman, or it doesn't have to be a man or necessarily a woman. Beware of anyone that will embarrass themselves to embarrass you. You will never win with those people. Those people avoid at all costs and going back and forth with because they will tell, 
they will tell three truths about themselves. That's embarrassing to get to the one truth about you that will make you look crazy. And it appears that Cardi B is such a person because Cardi B hopped back on live immediately and she wanted to set the record straight, especially addressing the comment by Offset where Offset basically said, you fucked with a baby inside of you. And she, just listen. I just want to let I just want to let motherfuckers know one good shit, right? I don't give a fuck if a nigga talking about, oh, I'm gonna expose you, or I'm gonna put them text messages that I saw through your phone. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I will expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Do that. I don't care. You should be happy. You know what you should be. You you know what you should be happy. You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass bitch. At the end of the day, I'm a real gangster ass bitch and I'm a solid bitch. So one thing I'm not going to do to you ever is entertaining them. Your ops that be in my DMs trying to suck my pussy. I will never do that because the op to you is a nigga that wants you dead. And I don't want you dead because my kids love the fuck out of you out of you my kids love you down so i will never do that and i really follow gangster i really follow street codes i will never be a lame ass bitch that fuck with a nigga op just to get back no nigga i don't have to do that shit i just gotta fuck a nigga that's better than you oh nah <laughs> yo i ain't gonna lie to you i i don't think my heart and my and me mentally is built for women to talk like that bro like when women is talking like dudes yo i'm not gonna fuck your op but i'm gonna fuck a nigga who's better than you I'm just not used to women talking like that publicly. By the way, I see somebody sends a donation. Here's the reason why I believe that Cardi B and Offset are going to stay together no matter what. They have three kids together, okay? Number one, here's the thing for Offset. There is no other upgrade than Cardi B. Now, you might get a woman who looks better, but Cardi B has a more successful career than yours. Y'all have three kids. Y'all were married. I'm going to be honest with you. You might be, listen. You get with another girl, she might be cute, you fuck on her for a little bit, then you're going to get bored of her, that beauty is going to fade, and she's going to be a chick just leeching off of you, as opposed to your former ex-wife, rich as fuck, mad successful, being associated with her helps you, and again, we got a shout out to, you know what I mean, uh, what's homie name that wiped up bad ba baby, who else, like all the niggas who've been fucking up. Offset, this is the only position or possibility of you fucking up. You got Cardi B, trust and believe you don't let her go to the wolves. You keep Cardi B. I don't care. Now, granted, I get it. He's a man. Offset, it's been like 10 years Offset. You got to learn how to cheat properly. And I say that as a man that probably needs to take a sip. Anyway, Offset, you got, you. listen, you know you're going to do your thing, but there is no future beyond Cardi B. You got to stay with your queen, brother. Okay? Because trust and believe, you will be sick as the coronavirus if another rapper sticking cock inside of Cardi and she's over here with him and you see a nigga trying to do the Russell Wilson with any of your beautiful kids. You would not have it. You would have you would you, you would throw a fit. We've seen you smack niggas in the club over her. Trust me, you already have a family with this woman. Again, she's popular. Rough, rough. It's over. It's just over. It's over. So again, you could get maybe a girl that's more beautiful, more freakier, that won't give a fuck, but you won't get nobody. And I'm not saying that men usually, for the most part, date in a way to, to get a successful woman. But when you've married one and you've had kids with one, you're just not going to date an Instagram model. That just looks crazy. Like, what are you going to do? You went from building a family with, cardi b you guys are essentially one of the biggest couples in hip-hop and you're gonna just date like some chick with like three hundred thousand followers on on instagram that has a sheen deal it just doesn't make sense vice versa cardi you don't gave this nigga three kids already okay you don't gave this nigga three kids here's the reality about it you're on the hit list for everybody who just wants to get a one-up on, on on um on, on Offset, so all his ops, all the people jealous of him, and also you're on the hit list of niggas that just want to use you for clout. Like, just let's be honest. You got three kids. I'm not saying you're washed, but you got three kids for this man. You've been building a life with him for a long time. If you think another nigga that's going to be, first of all, women usually date up in status. If you think you're going to find a guy more successful that's a rapper, current rapper, a guy more successful than Offset, that's going to slide in and, and basically 
pick up the controller on that NBA 2K25, my player save game. Uh-uh. So niggas is going to come and fuck with you. They're going to fuck on you. But for the most part, I think it will be very difficult to find a guy that is way more lit than this guy that doesn't come with a whole bunch of baggage that's taking you serious that's also going to want to build a family with you because it's, it's it, listen i keep saying all these women even cardi b and I, and I hope by the way cardi your first song or not the first song the first live you were on talking about looking for the fine niggas um something 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 it sounds like it's a lyric put the song out i, I do want to hear some music from you um yeah it, it, essentially you're not gonna upgrade like, you're not going to find somebody more lit than this guy that's going to take you serious and basically build a family. Because, oh, this is what I'm saying. These women talk about they're trying to slang pussy, but they all keep then wanting to get pregnant and build families. Like, it's, it's you know what I mean? These chicks rap and talk like Selena Powell, but then they're all trying to look for a ring and have kids. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. If y'all want to just slang pussy, just be Selena Powell. But in reality, they're sending a message to a whole lost generation of women who are listening to Sexy Red, Ice Spice, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. Think about all the women I'm talking about. JT and Young Miami. All of these women we've seen very clearly have sought out and pursued love, happiness, pursued family, tried to build family. They, come on. They're in long-term relationships. They're not out here really slanging pussy. It sounds good to say because, you know, we're in this era where women feel like they're taking back the power, but the women sending the messages, they're all in committed situations. To be honest, right? <laughs> so anyway, let me keep it going. The fuck? Wait, okay, okay, let me play again. I just wanna let, I just wanna let motherfuckers know one good shit, right? I don't give a fuck if a nigga talking about, oh, I'm going to expose you. Oh, I'm going to put them text messages that I saw through your phone. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I will expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Do that. I don't care. You should be happy. You know what you should be? You, you know what you should be happy? You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass bitch. At the end of the day, I'm a real gangster ass bitch and I'm a solid bitch. So one thing I'm not going to do to you ever is entertaining them. Your ops that be in my DMs trying to suck my pussy. I will never do that because the op to you is a nigga that wants you dead. And I don't want you dead because my kids love the fuck out of you. Out of you. My kids love you down. So I will never do that. And I really follow gangster. I really follow street codes. I will never be a lame ass bitch that fuck with a nigga op just to get back. No, nigga, I don't have to do that shit. I just got to fuck a nigga that's better than you. However, I don't give a fuck. You can expose whatever the fuck you want to expose, nigga. I expose it myself. Fuck it out of here. I told you when the Libra start Libraing, we really don't give a fuck. Now, goodbye. Now, I, I don't know if this was like a real subliminal, implicit way of her saying, yeah, you can't expose me for fucking a nigga while I was pregnant. So what? Yo. I'm going to keep it a bean with you, chat. I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. One thing about women, bro, they will explain anything with some goddamn Zodiac signs. I hope her explanation of possibly having sex with another man while she was pregnant for offset isn't that once a Libra starts Libra in. It's what? <laughs> Imagine your girl doing some crazy shit and she's like, yo, child, once a Libra start Libra in, it's up. What? What does that mean? I, I like I'm confused. What? <laughs> Yo, a girl would do some shit. Yo, that's Capricorn shit. What the fuck does this mean? Like what? What? Like what are we talking about? When a Libra starts Libra in? <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. This is what I'm trying to say. Like I feel like maybe I'm just not getting it. <laughs> you know, obviously we love Cardi B. We love Cardi B, but still, bro. Whoa. Yo, when the Libra starts Libraing, bruh. When the Libra starts Libraing. I just wanna let I just wanna let motherfuckers know one good shit, right? Oh, and she responded to that on Twitter. I am Cardi B. What'd she say? What'd she say? A hurt nigga will do the unthinkable. What that mean? 
please, God, cover me from evil I can't see. And then she says, and did. What the fuck that mean? She said, you fucked with a baby inside, tell the truth. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. I would be sick. If my baby mama said, just went online and said, yeah, I fucked a nigga while our newborn baby was in my gut. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yo, 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 is this crazy? Nah, no way. Am I tripping? I don't give a fuck if a nigga talking about, oh, I'm going to expose you. Oh, I'm going to put them text messages that I saw through your phone. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I will expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Do that. I don't care. You should be happy. You know what you should be? You, you know what you should be happy? I ain't going to lie, chat, and, and I got to keep it a bean with you. Yo, we do love Latinas, but this is a side of Latinas you do not love. When you get into one of these type of like little, and by the way, this ain't the first time she's called him out. Yeah, Cardi B got a mouth on her. Real talk. You should be happy that I'm a real gangster ass bitch. At the end of the day, I'm a real gangster ass bitch and I'm a solid bitch. So one thing I'm not going to do to you ever is entertaining them. Your ops that be in my DMs. Who do you think is Offset's ops that's in her DMs? Chat, let, let's predict. Who's Offset's ops? Huh? By the way, um, what the fuck? <laughs> Self-explanatory, thank you for the $100, brother. He says, Ak, with all due respect, you're not qualified to speak in an informative way about this subject. Cardi got to take her female issues up with her creator instead of taking it out on men. Even though Offset isn't marriage material, his value increases with age. Uh, nah. Stop it. Like, uh, yeah, brother, I, it looked like you just came over from, like, the, the, the uh, Red Pill Seminar. So welcome, my brother, Self-explanatory. Um, and that usually is true, but listen, I don't care what type of red pill book or whatever you subscribe to, Cardi B is not a regular random girl that just looks good with titties and ass. This is someone who, if you've asked me when the separation between Quavo and Offset was happening, we saw Cardi was a kind of an anchor for her man and her and his career. By the way, she's been there to help his ass, not that he hasn't also helped her ass, but she's been there to help his career along the way. Again, I, I'm also saying it goes back and forth. The regular girl you get with does nothing but just his arm candy to whatever event you show up to. They do nothing. Obviously, when it comes to family, yes, obviously, obviously, obviously. But... You can't talk about, oh, offset up. Oh, he, he he gets better with time. What the fuck you think this is? You think the nigga whine? Get out of here. There's only one Cardi B. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's five females atop of this shit. And if you could, yo, put it like this. If you think Jay-Z gets to be where he is without Beyonce, you're an idiot. So if you think that Jay-Z's, like Beyonce has zero value because you've been watching a little red pill shits, you're you're talking to OnlyFans bitches and thoughts. They have no value. You're right. Cardi B is somebody like, even if you were a bum, Cardi B could literally put you on. Like, you can't just compare her to the regular girl. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to suck my pussy. I will never do that because the op to you is a nigga that wants you dead. And I don't want you dead because my kids love the fuck out of you. That was like an odd statement. <laughs> Like I ain't gonna lie to you. You know you really beefing with your with your with your chick when your chick gotta like <laughs> have to reaffirm I don't want you dead. That shouldn't even be like a sentence she formulates. How how does it go from she saying I do you getting on one knees y'all y'all or one knee and and y'all get married to her having to even affirm I don't want you dead. That's your ops. <laughs> what the fuck? out of you my kids love you down so i will never do that and i really follow gangster i really follow street codes i will never be a lame ass bitch that fuck with a nigga op just to get back no nigga i don't have to do that shit i just gotta fuck a nigga that's better than you oh my god now and again when i said when i said i'm speaking for both of them right like i i think cardi b is a little bit delusional too like yo cardi like 
name me some rappers hotter than um name me some rappers hotter than offset and if you name me any of them that don't already got a girl or got some situation if that person took cardi serious i guarantee he wouldn't put a ring on her finger right and for women it is a loss if a nick if you got a nigga that married you and you get with a nigga that's only fucking you you didn't win you get what i'm saying like you've gotten the standard you got a nigga who gave you three kids and a ring the next nigga got to give you a ring or, or, or else you're just wasting your time or go, hustling backwards, right? I don't know. However, I don't give a fuck. You can expose whatever the fuck you want to expose, nigga. I expose it myself. Fuck it out of here. I told you when a Libra start Libraing, we really don't give a fuck. When a Libra starts Libraing, we really don't give a fuck. Oh, man. You know what's so funny? <laughs> the One of the reasons Cardi B is so popular, even without not dropping a lot of solo records or, or even an album since 2015, or not 2015, 2018, it's been six years at this point. The reason why she's so popular is like her brain thinks like the average regular girl that is consuming Instagram, TikTok content, they talk like period. They talk in almost catchphrases. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm F R. I'm F R E E. Fuck nigga, free. Like, like, like. They're exactly what Drewski skits basically try to make fun of, right? You know when Drewski basically plays a girl, Drewski is clowning a particular type of girl, and those type of girl represent the Cardi B's, the the um, what do you call it again? The sexy reds. Uh, mostly them, like, yeah, Ice Spice and Meg too, but, like, it's, like, the prototypical example of they talk in phrases that just make no sense. They end their sentences with the word instead of, like, an actual punctu a punctuation mark. Um, they basically blame their shortcomings, you know, on, on their Zodiac sign, and if they do some other dumb shit, they basically, just no accountability. Get me? Now, goodbye. Okay. Anyway. I don't think Offset gonna like no more posts after that. I think it's he done for the night, man. I, th I think Offset's done for the night. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is, I agree with this comment. This is why you don't date New York women. Like, New York women, like, I'm telling you. First of all, yo, New York women just, even their accent just sound like they about to be on some shit like this. And by the way, yeah, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should say my bias. If 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 the women I've described or the type of women I'm telling you that's more popular these days or not popular, but I've been seeing a lot, does not um, mirror what you're seeing wherever you're from. Maybe I'm just talking about women in the tri-state area specifically in and around the New York area or if not 100% women from the Bronx. Like, come on, 100% women. Like, this is how they are, bro. <laughs> this is how they are, bro. <laughs> Somebody said, Lee she ain't fuck with the ops. <laughs> oh, my God. They'll be back together next week. I agree. She will definitely be back with them next week. Right? Somebody said, nah, fucking with the baby is trif is, is trifling, not get back. Let me ask y'all a question. If that is true, if that is true, you know, uh, I, I had AJ. I was talking to AJ right before. Uh, let me see if I can even get AJ. I, I got to get our Cuban doll on, too. How do I? Oh, I gotta tell her to join the Discord. Yo, could somebody help me get Cuban Doll on here? Yo. Oh my God. Okay. All right. All right. She said not yet. She said not yet. Okay. Yeah. Let me know when. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna get Cuban Doll on here afterwards. Let me get on Discord for a second. Hang on. We where's Discord? So anyway, the conversation I was having before, right, was basically this. Um, I look at this as yo. I still think they're gonna be together for the reasons I named. I think that you know, again, 
whether uh, you know and, and you know i don't speak for these people and i don't want to like you know again I, I have respect for both of them and i do speak you know personally and privately to both of them at times so i don't want to disrespect their union or whatever but i'm commenting on public things i do think they're going to end up back together and but i do think when you put this shit in the air bro it's hard to like for shit like this to be the same again you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know if, how you could embarrass each other like this and then just kind of like still be together but maybe i could be wrong because people people have done it um should we see with Blueface and krishan and, and and it's not even like stay together because they might stay together but the love isn't the same anymore right like you know i don't know if offset is like unhappy like clearly you know she's kind of been accusing him of essentially like cheating or doing you know stepping out frequently so I don't know what's going on with that per se, but clearly, give me one second. Yeah. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So she's been accusing him of cheating. I don't know if he's just unhappy. I mean, I think a dude really gonna do what a dude gonna do, no matter if it's Cardi B or whatever. Jay Z was cheating on Beyonce. Like, come on. Like, you know, you know, it is what it is. Um. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, I really think that they're going to be together despite this. I was having people tell me otherwise. Yo, AJ, hop over the call real quick because we were actually having an argument about this. And I want to hear, I just want to have this argument on air because maybe people agree with either one of us. I say they're still going to be together. This is just a toxic ratchet relationship. By the way, it's kind of sad that I kind of I identify a little bit with sometimes when I see toxic ratchet shit. But when you add two kids to it and add the fact that they're both millionaires, both ass, there's so much assets tied into it, I don't think they're going anywhere, right? Uh, oh, yo, yo when, when this was happening, I was in a call with you and I said, yo, they're, they probably, this is probably the fight that gets them to have a fourth baby. But they're definitely going to stay together. Like, you know, what I mean, stay together, like. they're going to come back together, like whether it takes a year or whatever the case is. You say no. Why? Yo, act, bro. When you when when a girl when a girl got your kid inside of her bacon, nigga, and another nigga spreading semen in that hole, nigga, act. You can't get back together well after that. You don't agree with that? Yeah. Listen, generally, I would say that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I believe Cardi B comes from this new school of, yo, yo, yo put it like this, yo. Let me not say the B word, but these chicks is out here making songs saying, if he cheating, I'm doing him worse. No Uno or something. I'm hit I hit him with the reverse. Like these are this is type of behavior where like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think the majority of women look at this like, yeah, get your get back, sis. Yeah, get your get back. Your lick back or whatever they fucking call it. Yeah, that's yeah, get your lick back, sis. Like, I'm sorry. Like these days, I think this is this is the behavior that you should expect from women. I'm going to be honest with you. Nah, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. We was having a conversation even about that the other day. Nah, I agree with that on a certain extent, but, bro, act. You get any girl on here and act her like, is it cool to, to, to fuck while your baby is inside your stomach? Act, 99% of the girls are going to say no. Nah, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Wait, wait, hold on. They're going to say no under sp special circumstances, right? But what we've realized is that women used to tolerate a lot from dudes, right? Like, you know, okay, she catch you cheating. She catch you doing her wrong. These days, this whole lick back, like, yo, if he cheating, I'm doing him worse type of mentality. Women are, like, women are definitely these days giving dudes a taste of their own medicine. No diddy. No, no diddy pause. No homo, all that shit. Like, women are doing vindictive shit. I think she's on that. She's basically saying, yeah, I'm going to just stop short of fucking your ops. But everything else is on the table. Now, let me ask you. Okay, so clearly they were, you know, she announced a divorce when she was um, pregnant. She announced a divorce when she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know, I think men, us men would think, all right, because my baby is in your stomach, you should be celibate until my baby's born. I don't think the majority of women look at it like that, I would be honest with you. I think they'd be like, yo, my body, my choice, my pussy, my, my, my pussy, my, like, they're thinking of it like that. They're not thinking they should have grace 
Um, especially they're not trying to give you grace. And for them, there's a certain detachment about probably their, 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 their newborn and having like they would have sex normally with the baby inside of them anyway. Granted, us guys think that, oh, you're going to have sex with the father. They they have a detachment with that, bro. Like, come on, like they they they're gonna fuck who they want to fuck. Come on. Nah, act. She a bye bye for the act. You know that. Yeah, that's a different level, act. Nah, that's a different level. You know, act. Come on, bro. I know you fuck with Cardi, but you know that's different level shit, bro. You, you, I go. I do think this is wild. Still, you know. Hold on. The only reason I think it's wild <laughs> is because they're gonna end up back together. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Yo, you know, we live in this in this land of like, yo, let's embarrass each other. And, and we see with every toxic relationship, it, it becomes a let's see who gives a fuck the least. And let's start embarrassing each other because I'm going to be honest with you. I would be so upset as a child if my mom and dad were talking about a, while I was incubating. There was another nigga over here just spray painting the goddamn pussy walls. While I was getting get, getting re getting ready to, to as the woman say have do my big one, I'm trying to I'm trying to get ready to be born, nigga. Somebody just spraying graffiti with semen all all, all in that bit. You know what I mean? Act, I know it's what I'm trying to say, nigga. Cardi B, she she's on a different level act, and I think if you if you talk to a bunch of girls and ask them like ran a poll somehow, none of them be jacking this. Act, you got to be like sexy red level. Of like, of a thought to do that shit. Mm, no fucking way. Act, act. She has three kids with the nigga, and you fucking yo. Act. It gotta be little baby in her DM too. Well, why? Why? Why you think it's little baby? That's the that's the only out we could think. Offset. Ooh. So Cardi B and Offset, they fell out again. Which, if you tuned into the stream, basically what Big Act said. They're going to get back together, bro. Like, let's keep it a bean. But I'm not going to lie. What Cardi B did for most men, it hurts, bro. But the only thing for Offset, Cardi B is not a regular female. Like, it's Cardi B. Like, they're in the rap game. There is no upgrade. For Offset, there is no upgrade from Cardi B. Like. Uh, unless he goes and gets like some random pop star, but it's like it's not gonna hit the same, bro. Like you put three kids inside this woman. Cardi B will always love this man, no matter what. She's just mad at the moment. A Hispanic woman, when she's mad, she will say the worst of the worst, do the worst of the worst. And like, okay, I listened to the whole thing, and uh, Kyrie, you feel me? One of uh, the top chat niggas, he was there saying, uh. Cardi should uh feel me like she deserves to cheat which you feel me everyone knows Offset is a cheating ass nigga bro like he's a cheating ass nigga bro like he's always cheating he can't help himself you feel me Cardi should have learned to accept it that's the way he is but no Diddy you could tell that Offset got some good you feel me like he's obviously doing what he got to do to keep Cardi around because if he was not Cardi would not he will have not been able to put two more babies in her after all those cheating allegations. In between every single baby, there's like 20, 30 cheating allegations about Offset. And he, they're all true, most likely. He's not shit, bro. And everyone's gonna, no one would personally out themselves and say they did something, bro. Like, they're all, every allegation is true. But what I will say, Cardi B is wrong, bro. Like, you should not have got piped out with the baby still in your stomach. Like, you couldn't have waited. Like, I'm gonna go lie, like, that's some sickening stuff, bro. Like, an offset's gonna look so crazy if or when he does take her back, or like, even if he puts another baby in here, like, I still feel like he's gonna look crazy, bro. Like, bruh, I feel like she did the worst of the worst. Like, I, I don't know what, what is worse than what she did. What could, what could, I don't, offset gotta pipe out Hennessy. I ain't gonna lie, he gotta pipe out her sister. He got to get her sister pregnant. He got to get her cousin pregnant. He got to get her best friend pregnant, her worst op pregnant. He got to get someone else pregnant, bro. Or two two ops pregnant, a cousin pregnant. Like, you got to up the score, Offset. Like, and then she dropped the text messages. Like, you on the, you begging her. Like, I ain't going to lie. Cardi B is sick, bro.
bro. Like, why are you exposing him, bro? Like, what did Austin do wrong? He just a a strong like king. Like, he like I feel like obviously Austin loves Cardi B. We could all tell Austin loves Cardi B. It's just like men in those positions, bro. It's hard probably to be loyal when the most beautiful women are just throwing their, themselves at you. It's probably hard for him. But man, let me know how you guys feel about everything in the comments below. It's your boy Big Acting. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.